Hey, what's up, guys? And it's time to do an ultimate speed test comparison between the Note 10 Plus versus the Huawei P30 Pro. This is one of the most requested speed tests on the channel. We've got current 980 on the Huawei P30 Pro versus the Exynos 9825 on the Note 10 Plus. Both are absolutely beautiful devices, so without wasting any time, uh, let's get right into the boot up test. 3, 2, 1, go. And. The Kryon 980 is a fresh, fresh chipset and it got the latest updates as well so it could actually perform really good or Samsung might beat it so anything can happen and seems like I think the S Note 10 Plus, yes, a little bit faster there, quite a close call there but you can see we have beautiful displays on both phones, really nice sharp look so everything is closed in the background and we're going to start off with the basic stuff first starting with phone dialer on both phones and uh, you can see it fell slightly quicker on the p30 pro super quick animations there settings and that's uh that felt about the same again you guys are the judge here let's have some third-party action starting with subway surfers and okay Huawei P30 Pro is done, followed by the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. That was surprising. The Korean 980 is still going strong, surprisingly. So let's see if we can keep up this form or not. Pin out. So Note 10 Plus, faster there. Asphalt 9, another game. And let's see if the P30 Pro can display the same gaming speed or not. Okay, so the Note 10 Plus is faster there. Not by a lot, but it is quicker. Next we got YouTube. Uh, definitely quicker, a little bit quicker on the P30 Pro. Again, different feed on both phones. Uh, very smooth scrolling speed as well. Reddit. And that is definitely quicker on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And scrolling looks smooth on both phones. Spotify, Note 10 Plus, Quora. And uh, that is faster on the P30 Pro. Twitter, uh, felt a little bit quicker on the Note 10 Plus. Smash Hit, another game. And that is faster on the Note 10 Plus. Both phones are going back and forth, so moving on to Snapchat, and that's a draw. Instagram, and that is, uh, okay, that felt a little bit quicker on the Note 10 Plus. Again, you guys are the judge here. If we go on to scroll further, you can see really smooth performance on both of these two phones, no difference there. When it comes to that let's check out insta camera speed and that felt faster on the p30 pro checking out my profile uh, that's a little bit quicker on the note 10 plus so overall pretty decent fast speeds on both phones when it comes to instagram next we have photoshop express and time for some 8k image rendering you can see that is about the same on both phones loading the 8k image uh, you can see note 10 plus a little bit quicker there loading back to the editor as always setting the vibrancy all the way to the max and setting the clarity to the max on both phones as well as sharpness just gonna have the maximum impact here time to render this at the same time here we go and okay both are taking some time the galaxy note 10 plus uh, is done so slightly quicker again a very very close call uh, both of these two chipsets have the same gpu as far as i know so uh, very close performance there. Now time for the browsing action. We are loading WWE.com on both phones and that is super quick on the Note 10 Plus and just gonna close this. Let's check out the scrolling speed. As you can see no lag whatsoever. Really quick performance. Let's uh, play this video. About the same. Okay. A little bit quicker on the Note 10 Plus. Moving on to wikipedia.org. And that's super quick on the P30 Pro. So that is 1-1. One, one. Let's check out the RAM measurement. This is where the Note 10 Plus just destroys its opponents. 
It's got the massive 12 gigs of RAM, so as you can see, that is about the same. Settings, still there. Subway Surfers, that is still there on both phones. Impressive. Pin out. Asphalt 9. Okay, both phones kept that in the memory. YouTube. Reddit. Quora. Spotify. Twitter. Smash Hit. So far, so good. We have Snapchat, back to Instagram, back to Photoshop, and we are back to the browser. So incredible RAM management on the P30 Pro, despite having the same default options. People say that it has a lot of aggressive RAM management, you know, it kills applications, but this phone is performing to the top level. So there you have it, the P30 Pro is still going strong. I mean, a lot of stuff it has is very similar to the Exynos chip. Obviously, Note 10 Plus was uh, quicker in, I think, most apps. Again, you guys can watch this video again to see which one won the most, but I think the Note 10 Plus was a little bit ahead. Although P30 Pro is doing really, really good, the current 990 is on its way with the Mate 30. As long as it has the Android, we might be able to do a speed test or whatever it runs we'll still do the speed test but of course right now it might not have google services so again let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section regarding this and subscribe to the channel for daily tech videos and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out